What's going on guys, Darren Ken here, back with our Dragon Ball The Breakers Season 3 video and in today's video we're going to be discussing which new transfers will be coming or potentially be coming this Friday because if you guys do not know, this banner is going to be leaving this Friday, um, June 30th and uh, if you guys have not seen my video covering the schedule of The Breakers, I'll pull it up in a sec. As you can see in the schedule here, this schedule confirms that the banner will be leaving uh, the 30th and a new banner will be coming the 30th as well. So we'll be getting new transfers here. And then the following week, we'll be getting a new uh, boost campaign and we'll be getting a new event as well. And then uh, hopefully they'll give us a new event schedule after that comes. But uh, since all the transfers have been leaked, if you guys have not seen my original video uh, discussing the leaks, uh, in this video, I'm basically going to talk about which transfers are most likely to come next for this Friday, and whether or not you should summon, save, even bother, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and pull up the leaks. All right, so if you guys are not uh, a part of my Discord, we do have all the leaks in the Discord, and I'm talking the moves, the super attacks, uh, the falling um, skins and cosmetics. We have everything that's leaked to come for Season 3 in, in my Discord. And huge shout-outs to Shuri and uh, Demon Boy. Shuri got this information from Demon Boy and put it in our Discord, so uh, shout-outs to both of them. But in terms of the transfers, we're getting great Saiyaman uh, 2, uh, Videl, in her Saiyaman uh, form. Super Saiyan 2, uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Bardock, we already have. Uh, Captain Ginyu, Saiyaman, uh, we already have Gohan. Golden Frieza, uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, we already have. Kid Buu, Pan, Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, and I believe that is it. So yeah, we have nine transfers left for the season. Now, in terms of which I think is coming next, if you guys uh, don't remember, uh, at the start of Season 2, that's when they introduced the forms. And we got Super Saiyan Goku with uh, Super Kameha and Warp Kameha. And we also got Super Saiyan Gohan with the same uh, Super Attacks that he's always had. And then the very next week or the next batch of transfers that we got was Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks. So, um, obviously this time they dropped uh, Bardock. They dropped Super Saiyan Goten and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. If they were to follow in the same order or pattern that they did with last season, it's possible that we could get Super Saiyan Trunks and um, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. As you can see, if you look at uh, Vegeta's active skills, there's still one that we don't have. It's a costume we don't have and a transformation we don't have. And if you look at Trunks, transformation we don't have, Super Attack we don't have. So that's another way to tell uh, which transfers are going to be getting additional content, right? So for Trunks, this is going to be his super attack. Um, it's called Buster something. Uh, I guess he has multiple Buster moves. Uh, looking at this move at a glance, I don't think it's going to be that great. It's a charged super, and from my understanding, it is a weaker one. So it's probably going to only cost like 80 or 90. So the damage isn't going to be that significant. And the issue with charged supers like these is that they're very difficult to land. And it looks like it has a little bit of an AoE at the end of it, like a little explosion. So I guess that gives it a plus, but I still think um, the double buster super attack is still going to be better on uh, Kid Trunks here. But hopefully we'll be able to use double buster with Super Saiyan Trunks. But uh, as you guys know, the forms don't really change that much. They're, like They might change the key blasts. Like uh, Goten, he had ball based uh, key blast as base, but in a Super Saiyan form, he had beam base uh, key blast. So whatever your preference is there will uh, make you decide uh, what you want to do base. Or you want to do Super Saiyan. So let's go ahead and pull up uh, Vegeta's ability. So when I first looked at this uh, ability, I actually thought it was a new item, like a new variant of Vegeta's gloves. But this is actually Vegeta's active skill, which allows you to spam Key Blast for a short amount of time. Which uh, I think is going to be fairly good, just because um, you guys don't know, there's a lot of raiders in the game where you can cancel out their Key Blast. Raiders like uh, level 3 Frieza, level 2 Boo, level 2 Cell, level 4 Cell, any raider with ball based uh, key blast like even level 2 Raccoon, you can counter with your own key blast. So a uh, key blast spam ability like this will allow you to counter a uh, key blast spam. But if it's like a laser based key blast like level 3 cell, um, Jason Birder, or uh, the discs on level 4 Frieza, then you won't be able to counter as well. But uh, this active skill could come in clutch for those situations. And for uh, more frail raiders like uh, the Ginyu Force and Vegeta, this active skill may have the potential to actually deal decent damage now in terms of the cooldown i'll have to double check i imagine it's like 60 seconds to 90 but uh yeah this is vegeta's active skill i don't believe he is getting a new super attack 
Uh, in here, I only saw Final Flash, which we already have. So I don't think he's getting a new super attack here, but let's take a look at the uh, the rest of the transfers. So I do feel like if they continue with the pattern they did last time, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and uh, Kid Trunks, I do feel like have the potential. Now what they could also do is throw Kid Buu in with uh, Kid Trunks and Vegeta and do like a Majin themed banner. They could do that potentially, but I have a feeling they'll throw Kid Buu in with Golden Frieza and Ginyu and have another uh, villain banner because uh, last season we didn't have a villain banner unless you count like Beerus and Whis uh, as like, I mean, Whis isn't really an antagonist. I guess Beerus can be considered one. So I feel like uh, Kid Buu has the potential to be with um, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Kid Trunks. I feel like the way that we're going to be getting these transfers is we're going to get most of them in threes. So I feel like we're going to be getting uh, Pan, uh, Great Saiyan, uh, one and two together. Uh, and uh, a collective of three, and then probably Captain Ginyu, uh, Golden Frieza, and Boo, and then probably Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. So I feel like Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta are probably up next, but say they throw Kid Boo in the mix here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up his skills, and his skills are absolutely cracked. Alrighty, so in case you're curious about what's going on here, what Kid Boo's uh, active skill does, basically you're able to go to sleep and this, uh, I believe, uh, reduces your Dragon Chain's cooldown. I'll have the level check on that. Let me actually, because I, I don't want to lie to you boys. Give me one sec. Yeah, so that, that is actually what it does. Quick sleep. Fall asleep and recover the cooldown time for Dragon Change. So, um, Kid Buu's skill will basically allow you to get your Dragon Change back faster without the need of having a soda. I think this ability is probably going to go down to be the best active skill released in Season 2, without a doubt. Uh, getting your Dragon Change back is essential in matches. That's why sodas are so important and why wasting them isn't so important. Finding gold sodas is so important. So the fact that there's going to be an active skill, bro, combining this with Goten's passive, like, bro, I, I just like, it's going to be crazy. So I feel like this skill must have one of the longest cooldowns in the entire game, dude. But they've been weird about the cooldowns before. Like, they gave Bardock Scatter a 90-second cooldown. So, who knows? Who knows? But this, this ability has the potential to be really, really cracked. So, the next uh, active skill that Kid Buu has is this one, which is Angry Shout. Now, if you guys don't know how this one works, it works the same way that it works for Buu. It's basically a knockback ability for survivors. So, if the raider is uh, having you in a melee combo, if they've frozen you... Uh, if they're like uh, meleeing you, uh, doing anything to you, and you just want to escape really quick, you could pop Angry Shout, and it's basically going to be your free get out of jail card here. So I feel like in terms of transfers that are going to be coming next, I don't really think uh, Great Salmon 1 and 2 are going to be coming, just because uh, if you guys remember uh, the way uh, things worked last season, uh, we got the skins for Great Salmon 1 and... Or not Great Salmon... We got these skins for Beerus and Whis in the shop, and they were the last two transfers that we got for the season. And if you guys check in the store here, let's go ahead and look at the tops. Beerus and Whis are in here. I, so I think they took the Great Sandman costumes out, which is fantastic, so it makes me look like an idiot. Even bringing up, oh, actually, no, I lied. So yeah, the Great Sandman costumes are in the shop, and Beerus and Whis, Again, if you remember, they were the last two transfers that we got for Season 2. So if they follow in that pattern, it's very possible that Great Saiyan and Great Saiyan 2 are going to be the final transfers of the season. And I imagine along with Pan, because it wouldn't really make that much sense for Pan to be with any other uh, grouping of transfers in the game. Like, I guess Pan could be with Kid Trunks, but if they were going to go the Kid route, then why would they drop Super Saiyan uh, Goten so early, right? So I feel like in terms of what's realistically coming, uh, I feel like Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks. Now Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta has that active skill with the Key Blast we were talking about. Also, I forgot to mention that active skill, um, the amount of Key Blasts that come out when you activate it actually increases based on your Dragon Change level. So it's going to improve based on your level. But it, it is possible that they could go the villain route with Kid Buu, Captain Ginyu, and um, Golden Frieza. So let's take a peek at Golden Frieza's abilities here. And his are really, really good. If you guys have played Xenoverse, like even for two seconds, you know for a fact that this ability is one of the most broken super, or 
I, is it super attacks in Xenoverse 2? It's one of the most broken uh, moves in all of Xenoverse. So I am very, 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 very excited to see how this super attack will work. See if the tracking is uh, just as good as it is in Xenoverse. And uh, I'm curious if this will last during your entire transformation or if it will end. Because in Xenoverse 2, you're able to use this super for as long as you have key. So I wonder if you have the ability to hold the super if you want to, but I doubt that's how it's going to work in this game. But I'm very, very curious how this super is going to work. Now, the other super that Golden Frieza has is actually the crazy finger shot that Frieza has at level 3. So this is pretty interesting that we're getting. This is uh, technically the next iteration of Volley. I'm very curious if this will uh, be a better Volley because it's very similar. It's very similar, but Volley is nerfed into the ground. So this... Super Attack does have the potential to not be that great, but we'll see. We'll see after it releases. I'm more interested in seeing how this Super Attack works. This one, I think, has the potential to be really good. But let me see if I can find any passives or actives for um, Ginyu and uh, Golden Frieza. Okay, I'm not sure if this would be for Ginyu or for Golden Frieza, but this passive seems pretty interesting. I don't think it's going to be that great, but it's a fun little passive. It basically gives you a Frieza Pod or Saiyan Pod, whatever you want to call it, at um, where you spawn in the match. So say uh, the Raider is by you, they're trying to um, spawn, uh, kill you, and you can use this pod to escape. So that's uh, pretty interesting. And even stronger form, this seems like Frieza potentially. Increases movement speed for a short time after reviving. Um, that could be really interesting. I kind of wish that this was a passive that you could equip and give to somebody else. Because say if you want to run like Dende's active skill where you get an instant heal and then you give them the speed boost to run away. I feel like that would be really cool. But um, yeah, I think that's it in terms of Ginyu and Frieza. I imagine this one is uh, Frieza's and I imagine this one is Ginyu's. And then from my understanding, I don't think Kid Buu has a passive, but I'll double check on that. Yeah, I'm looking at the rest of the... The details here and it doesn't look like there's anything else that would look related to um ginyu or frieza so yeah guys i feel like uh the reason why i'm not really going over pan is because i highly doubt we're getting pan next and i because they're, they're going to be with great same and one and two and i highly doubt we're getting them next it's going to be very ironic if we get them next so i'm, I'm not going to go over them here um i mean i could i could show you guys very briefly uh their abilities uh, Great Say Woman is getting a new super. This one looks really good. This one looks really, really good. It holds the Raider in place for a very, very, very long time. That's the reason why I like Justice Rush so much. So I think this super is going to be fantastic and very, very deadly because I think you're going to be able to land so many super attacks uh, after this uh, this melee super lands. So I'm very excited to see uh, people use this one. Uh, fortunately, I don't think Gohan gets any new supers. And in terms of skills, I mean, these are intros, 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 Piccolo. Uh, here's Pan. Here's Pan Super Attack. So the way this, I actually didn't notice this uh, when I originally covered this move. So people were telling me that Pan is getting like an aura around here. I know it looks really bad because this is technically a little preview window when you, um, you play the game. So um, apparently like the little aura that spawns around Pan actually has um, like hit frames. So if you're buying Pan when this hits, uh, it'll actually deal damage, I think. We'll have to test that out. But this super attack does not seem that bad. If that's the case, it has a little AoE explosion at the end. This super attack looks fairly solid. Now, in terms of passives, uh, I think that's it for all the skills. Oh yeah, here's Ginyu's, actually. I didn't show Ginyu's. This is Milky Cannon. Seems solid, has a pretty good AoE at the end. Um, it could, honestly, it seems just like a slightly slower Big Bang. I think this, uh, this super looks pretty solid on him. If he has the same key blast as he does as Raider, that's actually going to be insane. But I, I doubt he will. I doubt he will. But that's uh, that's a pretty solid super. Oh, here's uh, Kid Boost. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to show Kid Boost. So this is Kid Boost. This is uh, the Majin Kamehameha. Uh, seems fairly, fairly fast. A, a lot of the Kamehameha variants have been pretty bad besides like motionless. So I'm curious to see how this one will do. It all depends on the damage and the startup and whatnot. But the startup on that one doesn't seem like terrible. And this is the other super attack. This is the one that Kid Buu has as level four. This is a very quick um, charging super. Seems very similar to Trunks's actually, but I hope this one deals a little more damage. Uh, but it's very, very quick. And uh, does it have a little AOE at the end? Eh, not really. 
but uh, that one could be good. That one could be good. So let me uh, go ahead and find the passives here and then off this video. All right, so here are all the passives. Um, Defender of Justice, that's obviously going to be uh, one of the same, man. Um, power to change the future already have. Stronger form we already talked about. Flashy Mischief is probably going to be uh, Kid Trunks. City Defender is probably... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Increases the amount of items received when rescuing civilians. That's probably going to be uh, one of the same as well. World Champion's Grandchild is Pan. This is basically uh, just an additional World Champion's daughter. Just gives you even more Zenny. So you just be Bill Gates for the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, just kind of scrolling through here. Just head start drink we already have. The sun we already have. Covert Operations. Reduces distance at which your location can be sensed with skills. That's pretty decent. I wish this was like... Uh, specifically with lock on, let me heal you quickly. Revives it down. Ally, this seems really good. Oh, yeah, so that's an active school one, so we already have that. Sympathy, we already have. Yeah, your bubbles, we already have. Power level boost, we already have. Angry shout. Oh, this is some of the information. Angry shout is gonna be 30 seconds. Holy crap, and at 12 20, it's gonna be 25. That's really good. Oh, okay, let's read quick sleep. I'm sorry, this is Kid Boo's active skill. Four star, 90 seconds. 90. 90 second cooldowns, bro. That's the same amount of time as fucking Scouter. Are you kidding me? 30% for Dragon Change level one, 15 for level two, and nine for level three. So you could comp combine this with um, special service. All right. And if you upgrade this to max, you will get 10% charge back for level three. Um, 18 for level 2, and then 40 for level 1. And, uh, oh, wow, it only reduces the cooldown by 88 seconds. Wow, so that's gonna have a long cooldown. This is Vegeta's. 60 seconds, wow. Wow, 60 seconds. Uh, and it can go down to 55, and then it increases based on the amount of, uh, your Dragon Change level. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, wait! Oh, I lied. So pants passive increases on money pickups. So this doesn't increase the amount of Zenny that you actually carry. This increases the amount of Zenny that you get per like, um, you know, the little Zenny that you get like in pots and then the actual gold bars. All right. So that's really interesting. But yeah, boys, just to kind of wrap this up, of course, if you guys want to look at this, uh, just, you know, you can join my server here. It'll be in the description and below. If you want to look at this uh, at your leisure, we have all the all the shop stuff, all the new intros that are coming, all the masks, all the hats, all that good stuff. So you wanna look at it uh, more closely, by all means. But I feel like in terms of transfers that are most likely going to come, I feel like it's gonna be Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, and then probably the villains, which are Ginyu, Golden Frieza, and Kid Buu. I highly doubt we're getting Pan, uh, Great Saiyan Man, and uh, Saiyan Man 2. But uh, it's very possible that we do. It's very possible that we do. That's why I want to go everything very quickly. But I feel like uh, we're most likely going to get uh, Vegeta and Trunks. But we'll see what happens. But I just want to let you guys uh, give you a little head up, a heads up in advance. But uh, let me know in the comments below which transfers you hope are uh, coming out this Friday. Which skills you're most looking forward to. I think that sleep ability on Kid Buu seems absolutely insane. Imagine that with um, Exploration Enthusiast with Goten. That's like actually going to be crap. I can't wait to showcase that. But uh, a lot of interesting skills coming out. But again, boys, let me know which ones you're most looking forward to. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the Iron Cane channel for more uh, showcases, updates, uh, prediction videos in the future. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Take care. Stay safe.